Heaven and Hell. After many battles in which he had become famous. A Japanese warrior, a samurai. Wished to find a wise man to ask him a few important questions. The samurai was a giant, wearing a sword around his waist and his forehead was furrowed. Everyone moved aside in fear as he approached. He arrived at the door of a temple, entered without asking for permission, and found himself in a spacious meditation room. There, a small, thin priest was sitting. The samurai's sword clanked as he walked towards the priest. Oh wise man, said the samurai. I am a renowned military commander. I have won many battles, conquered many cities, and subdued many peoples. Everything I look at, I can conquer. But I cannot find the answer to the question. Where is heaven and where is hell? I have come to you to tell me if you know. The priest did not move from his cushion. He looked at him disdainfully and said. You say you are a samurai? Tell that to someone else. Look at how dirty and unshaven you are. Moreover, you stink. You haven't bathed for months, I suppose. I would even say that you are stupid and conceited, for conceit and stupidity are twin brothers. While the priest was still speaking, the samurai's cheeks flushed. His hand grabbed the hilt of his sword, and his whole huge body trembled with anger. And just as he was drawing his sword to cut down the priest, the priest quietly said to him, There, you see, that is hell. The samurai stopped with his hand in the air. His mouth opened, his eyes filled with tears. In that moment, he realized what kind of fearless and generous person was before him. A person who had risked his life to answer his question properly. He was overwhelmed with a sense of shame and gratitude. Suddenly he felt love and respect for the small, thin priest. Forgive me, he whispered, returning the sword to its scabbard. And that is heaven, the priest said gently. What you are feeling is heaven. 